hello everyone this video tutorial is about features of office button and to follow this tutorial please you have to type some text on your screen or your document and then we go ahead with this tutorial now you can see this is a new document and for every new document it is given a name document one it can be document one two three four and so on that is by default so with this document that we have we would like to give it a new name and to give it a new name we have to save that document to do that we access those options from the office button so from the office button we are going to click on it once when you click on it we can see a number of options but for us we are interested on these two options and this save as option is used when you want to give a document a new name for this case we are not going to focus on these other options because they are not important at the moment you use them if you want to use to save your document with a different format so we shall directly click on the save as when you click on the save as this dialog box is displayed and its name is is known as save as dialog box so you can see on this dialog box we have here we are calling file name and on the file name inside we have the load is my shepherd by default the program picks the first lines on your document but now we can change it by clicking inside then we delete by pressing the backspace key then we shall call this file or we give our document a name called sum space 23 we should not forget that we are saving this document under a folder known as documents so after giving it a name we shall go ahead and we click on save If you have added some text onto your document, for example this one, and you want to save those changes, then you go to save. And how do we access it? We shall move our pointer to office button, we click, then this time we shall not use the save as button, but rather save. So when you click on it, it will save those changes on your document. The difference between these two is that with save option, you save only the changes without creating a new document. Whereas with the save as, you create a new document. Now, let us add some text on this document of ours. You can see where my cursor is blinking from. We are going just to press enter and I type some sentence, God is good then without saving anything i'm going to move we move our mouse pointer to the close button at the top right corner when we click on it without saving the changes this program will always remind you and will ask you do you want to save the changes to sum 23 this is the name of our document there are options yes which means that if you click yes this program will close will save the changes then close if you say no this program will close and without adding these changes to your document then if you are not sure you are going to click on cancel for this case since we want to proceed with our document we are going to use this option for cancel so we click on cancel the document will remain open 
That means even the changes have not been saved. And sometimes you may want to print this document that you have on your screen. Now the question is how can you do that? We shall still go to office button. We click on it. Then from office button we shall move our pointer up to this option for print. Then you click. When you click on it, a dialog box is displayed for you. From this dialog box, you are going to choose the printer that is connected to your computer. That's where we see name. So you just use this arrow, you click. You'll find there a number of printers that are connected to that computer. For instance, I can choose this printer. So that means I'm going to print using this specific printer which is currently connected to the computer. Then also you'll find that we have this point of page range. All means you are going to print all pages. If you have five pages, they will all be printed. Then if you choose current by clicking on this box, radio button, then it means where your cursor is currently active is the page that will be printed and with that option for pages if we select this radio button here we can specify the pages we want to print for instance you can say from page one then to page two so when you do that you can also go ahead and choose how many copies you would like to print if you want one you leave it at one. If you want more than one, you can do that by clicking on this arrow pointing up to increase the number. Or you can decrease by clicking on this. So when you're done with all that, you go ahead and click on OK. So when you click on OK, that document will be sent directly to the printer to get your hard copy. And that's it for now. See you in our next tutorial.